Hi everybody, it's Ethany. Welcome back to my channel and I have my lovely sister Jamie here again to give us some Yuletide joy in liquid form. You're going to be making what today, Jamie? Uh, we're making my favourite cocktail, which um, is actually a recipe from the amazing blog Half Baked Harvest, mm -hmm. which we're going to link below full creds to them because it is so good. It's become like my holiday favourite. And we're going to be making a mocktail version and a cocktail version because I do not drinketh the alcohols. So you can get merry and bright without getting tanked. Or, you know, you can drink alcohol too. That's a respectable choice. In moderation or not. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag choices. <laughs> Hashtag choices. So the first thing that I'm going to do is prep um, the sugar and mint so you can rim the glass because it's actually really special when it looks really Christmassy. It looks very festive. It's festive, it's festive as <laughs> Honestly, this is, I, I just eyeball this. That'll do. And then chop up the mint. I'm sure there's probably a more practical way to do this, but you want to do it nice and um, small. So it's kind of the same, almost the same shape and consistency as the sugar because otherwise it's just really weird chunks of leaf. This drink is very fresh. It's very aromatic. But everything in it is fresh. Word of the day, kids, aromatic. Something with a pleasing aroma. Something that is pungent to the nose, but in a pleasant way. Tickles the nostrils. <laughs> I think that's good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is mix it in with the sugar. Mm. Maybe get a spoon. <laughs> it looks like little frosted trees. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, I love snow. Put that aside for later. Now, trick that I learned, if you're going to drink these all night, which I totally recommend that you do, <laughs> and also you probably will want to because they're pretty delicious, I would put some of the mixture onto a plate because you, what you do to rim um, the glass is you dip it in water and then you go like this. And what I found the first time that I made it, when I put it straight into the bowl, oh, it would just get... Grossy. Yeah, it just yeah. clumps, right? So you just want a little bit so you can keep using it. But you want to keep some of the sugar as dry as possible is yeah. basically what she's yeah. saying. So, <laughs> translation, sister translation. The next part of this is we're going to juice some fresh juicy uh, things uh red pineapple no denied <laughs> <laughs> the next step is we're going to juice some pink grapefruit and some lime so we're gonna... not a red pineapple <laughs> not a red pineapple it's just a thing it's a red pineapple probably not we can paint one for you invent <laughs> one okay so Generally, I would do, again, we'll put the recipe below. I'm, I'm making it from memory. Um, it's pretty easy. What I would usually do is half of a red pineapple <laughs> and half of a lime uh, per drink. It's a lot so of juice. It is a lot of juice. Mm. Um, and She's juicy. We're going to make two, one a mocktail, one a cocktail. So... We, <laughs> this was all I could find, folks. We're, we're away uh, from the Airbnb. They didn't have one, and I forgot to bring mine. So it's a tiny little one. Look, she'll do. I recommend a bigger, but. Um, that's no, what she said. That's not where we're putting it. We're going to put it in my silver pineapple. Yeah, this is, this is, could go really interestingly because it's too big. <laughs> It seems to be working. Look at that, folks. The thing does what it's supposed to do. Oh, I just thought it was going to go everywhere, but it's not It's not doing the best job. Which you can just squeeze it, but then you're going to be smelling like pineapple and lime for the rest of the night, which is not... It's not pineapple. It's grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite drink, folks, and I can't even remember the name of the it's fruit. It's so gross. That's kind of cool, this little thing. It is really cute. It is cute. She's um, cute. I think we can get more out of that, though. Look, it's 
She's strong. My sister is strong. She lifts the weights. Looks like a taco. It looks like a vagina. That's true. <laughs> well, that's another name for a vagina is a taco, isn't it? Okay, so we're adding the grapefruit okay. juice. So now, let me just do the lime. This is definitely a lime juicer. It makes it much easier. So, hot tip. Use Clean a... the chopping board before you uh, do your juicing because you're going to cut your fruit and it will avoid the little green bits. There isn't very many in there, but there's a few. So that's... Something. Only a Capricorn would care about that, P.S. It's all about the presentation. No. It's all about the taste, Gemini. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get some ice. Ice. Um, Baby. So I'm just going to grab that after I wash my hands because they're covered. Baby, I'm not ice. Stuff, collaborate and listen. I expect with a brand new mission. So I grabbed two types of ice. There's a reason for this, is because one will chill the drink before when you put it in the shaker, before you put it into the glass with a larger piece of ice. So we've got a large piece of ice. The reason that you want to do this is because if you put small ice cubes in your glasses, it's going to melt quicker. And that's actually going to change the consistency of uh, and the flavor of the drink. It's going to make it more watered down. This is why bars do it. They want to water down your drink. We're just going to give it a little shake. <gasps> Can I do it? Sure. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Okay, so we shake missed a step. We missed a step. <laughs> and that was... Rimming the glass? Rimming the glass. So she's shaking. I'm going to rim the glass. So you dip the top of the glass into the water. water and then you just smush it around. Smush it. Everyone, oh, oh. festive as oh. That is some Yuletide glory some right Yuletide. there. So then we put the ice cube in. Okay, cool. Then, I'm, then I've shaken. Yeah, so yeah. you... Put about half of what's in there. I've never used one of these before. You can tell I don't drink. All right. Cool. We'll give her that. Yeah, and then I put some of this in, don't I? Yeah, but well, we're not at that stage yet. I'm not drunk. <laughs> That's about right. That's about a shot. You just free yeah. free pour that. No, I put it in there oh. and did two tablespoons. Standard drink, I'm sure. Ooh, she pretty. Okay, so then we'll put the ice into that. And then pour over. Honestly, this is a bigger glass than I usually use, so it's a bit lower. Okay, now what? Um, now we use ginger beer. Not Gin sponsored by Fever Tree. But really good. Really good. Um, not ginger ale, but ginger beer. It's much more gingery. In flavor has a definitely a stronger flavor so how much am i doing with this uh well you could fill it up i think yeah that's good that's raw good. answer okay and for me i will fill mine up the next part we're going to do is the chilies they're the best part of the drink ethany doesn't want any chilies okay. in hers but i really like the spiciness that it adds to the drink it adds it um it like complements the ginger beer and, yeah, yeah. and it also looks delicious because it's Yule and we want to be festive. Cranberries. A couple of cranberries in there. Oh my goodness. And then finally is some decorative mint. mint. So I always look for the top piece of the mint because there's like the little, it's just at the top. It looks so pretty. Can I fill yeah. a little bit? Yeah. So I'm gonna put that in there. Oh, delightful. Delightful. I give it a quick stir just to mix the chili through. Oh, yeah, I probably don't need to do that. You probably do that before you stick the meat on, but it still looks great. And cheers, big ears. Merry Yule and happy Yuletides. Oh, so good. That is 
darn delicious. It's so good. Jamie, you have excelled at finding the delicious drink. Mm -hmm. As a mocktail, this is so good. The mint and the sugar are just a rapture. Mm. I a would, rapture. Uh, personally, I want more chili in, <laughs> in mine. So this has been how to make this drink, Jamie's favorite drink, in a mocktail or a cocktail version. Smash that subscribe button. You know you want to. And you can check us next time on the channel for more fabulous videos. Mm. That's the fancy way to, to mix your drink. This giant knife from Airbnb. Airbnb knife. <laughs> <laughs> Always questionable. <laughs> Always questionable. Thank you.